Pew Research Center survey says 46% of Americans know some struggling with addiction. The good news is there are local resources to help. Here to talk about it, we've got Haley and Kara. Welcome. Thanks for being Hi. here. Thank, Thank you. you for inviting Absolutely. us. Absolutely. So glad to have you. So you are from Oasis of Northwest Arkansas, and remind us what you do there. Absolutely. So at Oasis of NWA, we provide safe and supportive housing for women in recovery and their children. And so some of the resources that we provide um, include food, clothing, education, employment opportunities. We provide resources um, such as PT, OT, speech, mental health. Um, and we're really just there to walk alongside these women and their children through every step of their recovery process. Yeah, it's certainly a noble cause. Do you have any statistics that you could share with us? Yeah. So. You know, since the start of the pandemic, we've seen a very drastic increase in substance abuse. And so according to the National Health Institutes, um, alcohol abuse has actually um, increased by 23% and drug overdoses by 16%. Wow. And so during that time, we had over 180 women on our wait list. And even now, we still have over 100 women waiting for our support. So. Um, the need is more important now than ever. Yeah, absolutely. And one of the ways that we can help with that is that Saturday your team's hosting a big event. Yes. Right? What are the details on that event? Yes, so we are hosting our fourth annual It Takes a Village Breakfast and Recovery Expo. It'll be tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. at the Rogers Dream Center. And tickets are completely free, so anyone is welcome to join us. Um, we'll have, we'll be serving um, a special pancake breakfast, we'll be doing free health checks, we've got a recovery book swap, giveaways, Judge Tom Smith is joining us, um, and more importantly though, we have 26 local organizations joining us to share about their resources and programs um, for the community. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So, what, so what are some of those organizations? I'm curious, we have 26 local organizations. Yeah. What kinds of organizations, what types? Yeah, so a lot of them specialize um, in recovery resources. Um, but really this event um, covers a broad range as well. So even if maybe you're not looking for specifically recovery resources, a lot of these agencies offer resources in different areas as well. Mm -hmm. So we invite everyone to come. Yeah, I love that. What are your goals maybe for this event? Yeah, so some of our goals are to kind of just like get the community aware of what recovery is and how they can help. Um, we have a lot of resources. Um, in Northwest Arkansas, including Oasis, um, that specialize in recovery. But we also want to make the community aware that there are other resources that can, the community can use. So like the 26 um, other nonprofits coming, and uh, we just want to make the community aware yeah. about it. A collaborative effort. Exactly. Yeah. Because it truly does take a village to help. Yeah. So. Yes, yeah, such a noble cause, and seeing all those organizations come together under one roof, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Give us the details again on when and where it's taking place. You said it's Saturday, right? And there's breakfast involved. Yes. yes. Yeah, so okay. tomorrow, Saturday, um, it's at the Rogers Dream Center, um, right next to Frisco Station Mall, and um, yeah, completely free yeah. tickets. So. What time on Saturday? Oh, 9 to 12. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Is it something that folks need to register for in advance? I see you can register, but do, right. can you yeah. also just walk up? You can just come. Yeah. If you're hungry, show up. Yeah, yeah. I like that. <laughs> Food always helps. Exactly. Yes. What's exactly. some way that we can get involved with the organization beyond this? Do you have volunteer opportunities? Is there a way that uh, folks in Northwest Arkansas can be involved with OASIS? Yeah, we do have a website. It's oasisforwomennwa.org. Um, and they can donate there, um, volunteer, mentor. We could use all the help that we need, can. Yeah. Um, and then we also have a Facebook page, um, and they can be updated about events coming up in the future as well. So you're out there, you're on the social medias, and folks can come out and see you, obviously, tomorrow starting at 9 yes. o'clock. Yes. Free break. I like what you said. If you're hungry, come out. <laughs> you can and learn can and come, eat. And men can come, too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you both so much for joining us and filling us in, hanging out. We really appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.